and thank you for watching. I am so excited about today's video. If you could have like a cartoon version of me right now, I would look like Sailor Moon with the little heart eyes right now. I'm so excited because Don Yazar was right. The Barbie Looks dolls have started to ship and I have in my hands right now model number three. I'm so excited about this doll, I can't even tell you. So without further ado, let's take a look. So here's the box for Barbie Looks model number three. So let's see if I can get this open. Actually, before I do, let's take a close look at her in the box. I like the way this box looks very simple. You see exactly what you're getting. Looks like there's a doll stand in there, which is cool. And on this side of the box, it says, looks. And on this side, it says, model number three. I didn't even know that they had model numbers until I actually got this doll. So that's really cool. In the back, it shows the entire collection there, as you can see. Oh, it puts the numbers there. Look, number one, two, well, you can count. <laughs> but anyway, it shows all of them. It says, introducing Barbie looks a curated collection of dolls, each with a fresh look of style and personality. The on-trend, well, you can see all of that stuff. You can read it, you can pause it there if you'd like. But anyway, enough of me going on and on about this box. Let me see if I can get her open. So let's see. I'm going to try to do this neat like. Ooh, look, that was really neat. Okay. Now let's pull this back. Can I do it without tearing the box? Can I do it? Aha! I did not tear. Yes. Awesome. It just opens like this. And I guess we pull on this in the front here. And voila, here is our doll. Whoa. Sorry if I'm just kind of quiet here. She's just really, really pretty. I'm just gagging at her. Wow. Very nice. So let's pull back some so that we can see her outfit here and complete we see her shoes and everything so this is what i am going to do i am going to get her out of this box so that i can take a closer look at her and her outfit and everything that comes with her so here is a close-up of barbie looks model number three featuring a brand new sculpt called kit that's k-i-t kit Look at it from all angles and really get a good look. Also, one thing I want to point out is look at the hair there. It is flopped underneath there. Isn't that really cool? So let's see the face sculpt from the other side. And you can also see the, I guess you would call this like a little page boy or something kind of hairdo or pixie cut it's you know Mattel has done a lot of pixie cuts in the past I thought were okay but honestly I think this is probably one of the best that I have ever seen them like mass produce it's she's really they did a really good job and look at the screening go you know, even closer and yeah, she's really pretty. And I love the simple gloss that they have on her lips. Very pretty. So, so they don't have her skin tone listed as nostalgic, but I figured she was. But just to make sure, I grabbed me a purple top girl. And as you can see, it's very close. Looks like it's a match to me. So I would say her skin tone is nostalgic. So as you can see, she has a two-piece outfit here, and it has the opening and closing, it's a Velcro, in the back for the blouse, and looks like the skirt, you just shimmy on on her. Now I want to pull out just a little bit more so that you can actually see her body, which is one of the things that are making collectors 
gag out there. We love articulation. And this is the first time that I can remember that we have gotten a petite made-to-move body in the nostalgic tone. So I'm really excited about that, as you can see. And made-to-move, you can just pose this girl into oblivion. I mean, she can cross her legs. She can do all sorts of stuff. So I am, oh, they got, well, she can't cross her legs right now because it looks like she came with a little cardboard, <laughs> but normally she could do a whole bunch. <laughs> so I will remove that a little bit later. So here is a close up of her shoes. And as you can see, she's got those made to move ankles and the shoes. I love that you just slip them right on and she's ready to go. I also wanted to show you some of the, oh, she's so busy posing, <laughs> the detail in the blouse, as you can see, it's got the mesh at the top here on the side. And then it also has like a little piece of the mesh over here and it goes into the back. So it's not just a white, simple fabric. And I'm glad that they went with this mesh, I think it looks very modern, very now. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what else does she come with? See, because the pose says it right here. It's implied here, see? <laughs> anyway, this doll does not come with any jewelry, which is fine with me. She doesn't need it. She's, you know, very minimalistic, which is fine. Um, however, she does come with a couple of things. When I say a couple, I literally mean a couple of things. <laughs> she comes with, voila, a display stand. Now, I know I'm making jokes and stuff, but honestly, I'm so glad that this doll came with a display stand. Um, a doll like this, number one, needs to be displayed. Number two, um, I hate when I have to go get my own stand and it's great that she comes with one. So I make a joke about it, but I'm actually very happy. The next thing that she comes with, of course, is woohoo, her certificate of authenticity. And this one tells you she is black label. That means she's serious. <laughs> so, all right. So what I would like to do next is I would like to do a 360 view of this doll. And I'd also like to introduce her to our panel to see what they have to say about this doll and her outfit. All right, I would like to welcome our panel. First, we have President and CEO of W Cosmetics, Veronique Perrin. Oh, the shady camera lady. Next, we have fashion icon and first lady of Mattel, Millie Barbie. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, star, Alyssa Rodriguez. Uh, Veronique, I noticed you're kind of tipping to the side. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your drink. All right, let's do a 360. Let's see her from all angles. As you can see, she comes on her own display stand. So glad they included that. And let's get in closer, of course. And let's see her from all angles. I really do love that haircut. What does that copyright say? Can you read that? I can read it. But look at the flocking on the side. And let's take a look at the outfit pieces. And of course, the made to move body and those cute shoes. You can see the detail of the blouse in the back. And the skirt is pretty much the same all around, but it does fit very well. It's really stretchy material, so it's very fitted. And that is Barbie Looks model number three. So Veronique, what are your thoughts on Barbie Looks model number three? You said 
She is too tiny to be my model. Uh, number one, Veronique, it's not tiny. We call her petite. Number two, you have... You have a makeup company. She can do print modeling, right? Barbie says that Mattel has continued to show its commitment to diversity and giving collectors the doll that they want. They said they wanted an articulated doll. They said they wanted diversity. And voila, Mattel has given it to them. And Alyssa, what are your thoughts on Barbie Looks model number three? Oh, you have a note for me. Hmm. All right, let's see what this says. He is cute. <laughs> Alyssa, I'm going to have to have a talk with you after the show. Well, anyway, <laughs> thank you, panel. I think Barbie looks number three is actually really awesome. When I first saw pictures of her, I really wasn't sure about how I felt about her. I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll keep parts of her. Maybe I'll keep the outfit and maybe keep the body. I'll sell the head. I'm not sure. But honestly, once she arrived here and I took her out of this box, there's no way. I'm not giving up one part of her. She stays. I absolutely love her. I love that Mattel has given the collector what we want finally. We've gotten diversity as far as the, the ethnicity. We've got diversity with the petite body and not just any petite body, not just any articulated petite body, but a made to move petite body. And we also get a display stand. She comes with really cool, very modern looking outfit very it fits really well on her the shoes i mean every part of her i can't complain about anything on this doll not even the price now some people who have been able to get their hands on this doll i'm seeing some like on amazon where they're selling it for like double the price i don't know if i would pay i mean to me she is worth it but I don't think that you should pay that price. I think they're gonna, you're gonna see more of her available soon if you haven't been able to order her. Some people have pre-ordered her and she'll be coming in August and different times depending on when you were able to get her. So, so I think we really do get the bang for our buck and it's really nice to finally get the collection that I have been waiting 20? Oh, I mean, um, I'm, I'm young, I'm young. Um, I've been waiting five whole years for this doll. <laughs> Honestly, since I have been collecting, this is the line that I have been waiting for. And I am absolutely happy that Mattel has done it. So anyway, I hope you like this video. And if you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. But you know what you also should do? You should subscribe to this channel right now. Subscribe so that you get notified of when I come up with fabulous new videos like this one. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.